वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एग्जाम्पल नंबर सिक्स डिटरमाइन द स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ अ सिस्टम हैविंग फॉलोइंग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन इज गिवन एज एस टू दावर सिक्स प्लस एस टू दावर फाइव प्लस फाइव एस टू दावर फोर प्लस थ्री एस टू दावर थ्री प्लस टू एस स्क्वायर माइनस फोर एस माइनस एट इक्वल्स टू जीरो हियर वी नीड टू चेक the stability so we will first form the route array and after that we will count the number of sign changes and based on the number of sign changes we will predict that the system is stable or not so let's write the number of e1 and odd coefficient of s so e1 coefficients are s to the power 6 एस टू दावर फोर एस टू दावर टू एंड एस टू दावर जीरो हियर सो द कोफिशेंट ऑफ एस टू दावर सिक्स इज वन हियर एस टू दावर फोर इज फाइव एस टू दावर टू इज टू एंड एस टू दावर जीरो इज माइनस एट एंड कोफिशेंट ऑफ और एस टू दावर आर हियर कोफिशेंट इज वन हियर कोफिशेंट इज थ्री हियर कोफिशेंट इज माइनस फोर and zero only so we will form a route array here s to the power 6 s to the power 5 s to the power 4 s cube s square s to the power 1 s to the power 0 finally since here the highest power of s is s to the power 6 so we will write the even coefficient first so 1 5 2 and minus 8 then it is a odd coefficient it is a odd power of s so we will write odd coefficient here so 1 3 minus 4 and 0 so we will start to perform the cross multiplication to fill the further elements of route array so Firstly, this one will be multiplied with five. One into five minus three will be multiplied with one. Three into one whole will be divided by one. So we will get two as a result. So two will be written here. After this, this one will be multiplied with two. So one into two minus this minus four will be multiplied with one. the whole result will be divided by 1 so we will get 6 as a result so 6 will be written here after this this one will be multiplied with minus 8 minus this zero will be multiplied with 1 we will get zero only whole output will be divided by 1 so we will get minus 8 here so minus 8 remaining no column for the further multiplication so we will easily write zero here later moving on to the next step we will take two elements 1 and 2 then 2 will be multiplied with 3 minus 6 multiplied with 1 whole will be divided by with 2 we will get zero here then write zero after that this two will be multiplied with minus 4 minus this minus 8 will be multiplied with 1 the whole will be divided by 2 so here also we will get zero so write zero after this two will be multiplied with zero we will get zero Minus the zero will be multiplied with one. We will again get zero. So result will be zero only. No column for further multiplication. So here also we will write zero. You all notice that this row, all zero row, is formed. All the entries of this row are equals to zero. So it is simply we can say that it is type first. 
variety of question so in this type of question we firstly have to perform form the auxiliary equation by the help of the row which is just above the all zero row so here in this question the row which is just above the all zero row is this row and here the highest power of s is s to the power 4 so we will write the even power of s with these coefficients here the auxiliary equation is denoted by a of s and a of s is equal to 2 s to the power 4 2 s to the power 4 plus 6 into s square because we are going to write only the even power of s that's why after s to the power 4 in the decreasing order the highest power will be s square after this we will write minus 8 and s to the power 0 this is the auxiliary equation we can also write it as a of s equals to 2 s to the power 4 plus 6s square minus 8 we are neglecting s to the power 0 because its value is by default 1 after that we are going to do the differentiation of this auxiliary equation 1 so d by ds of a of s we need to perform here so the differentiation of a of s will be 8 s cube plus 12 s equals to 0 this is our new characteristic equation new coefficient for this row so we are going to form a new route array for the further multiplication so this is our auxiliary equation and from the previous route array we will fill the first two rows based on their coefficient so here I copied all the elements from our previous route array you all notice that this is all zero row so we need to modify this row by the help of this characteristic equation so notice that this is the highest power of s of this row s cube and also in our auxiliary equation we are getting s cube as our highest power so we will write the coefficient of s cube at this place that is 8 then the coefficient of s here at this place then the no coefficients are there so we will simply write 0 only so this is our modified row further on we will perform the multiplication to fill the further entries so here the 8 will be multiplied with 6 8 into 6 minus 12 into 2 the whole result will be divided by 8 so we get 3 then after 3 will be written here then after 8 will be multiplied with minus 8 minus 0 will be multiplied with 2 then whole result will be divided by 8 we will get minus 8 here so minus 8 after that this 8 will be multiplied with 0 minus 0 will be multiplied with 2 we will again get 0 this whole will be divided by 8 so we will get 0 only so 0 and 0 after this 3 will be multiplied with 12 3 into 12 minus minus 8 multiplied with 8 the whole result will be divided by 3 so we are going to get 100 by 3 as result so 100 by 3 after that this 3 will be multiplied with 0 
so we are going to get 0 only 0 multiplied with 8 we are going to get 0 so result will be also 0 after this 3 multiplied with 0 we are getting 0 then 0 multiplied with 8 also getting 0 here so the result will also be 0 so 0 will be filled here and remaining elements are not there so we will also fill 0 here moving on to the further step this 100 by 3 will be multiplied with minus 8 whole bracket we will be and 0 multiplied with 3 we will get 0 here the whole term will be divided by 100 by 3 so this 100 by 3 will be cancelled out so we will get minus 8 as our result after this 100 by 3 multiplied with 0 we will get 0 then 0 multiplied with 3 again get 0 as a result so write 0 here after this 100 multiplied with 0 then 0 multiplied with 3 again get 0 and remaining term is not there so we will write 0 also here so this is the com completion of our route array after this step we need to check that our system is stable or not so for this step we need to count the number of sign changes in this route array guys focus on this first row first column that how many number of sign changes are there one is positive one is also positive no sign change these two numbers are also positive so no sign change 2 and 8 are also positive no sign change 8 and 3 are also positive no sign change 3 and 100 by 3 is also a positive number so no sign change but 100 by 3 is approximately equals to 0. Point, is approximately equals to 3.33 and it is a positive number and minus 8 is a negative number so here is a one sign change so we can say that total number of sign changes is equals to 1 so we can easily say that 1 root lies in RHS of S plane thus we can say that since the one root lies in the RHS of the S plane so we can say that our system is unstable or system is unstable so we can simply find out that our system is unstable thank you